Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Volcano Grill's 3 Fuel Portable Camping Stove. Alright everybody, welcome back. Now, we're going to start this video off with two things. This isn't cheap, and this isn't light, but it is extremely well made. So, this is something that, it's one of those deals where, um, my friend will occasionally uh, call me up and say, hey, I got something cool for your channel. Do you want to, you know, try it out? And sometimes I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Or sometimes like, oh, we already did that. Or So this is his. This isn't mine. And he purchased this. I don't know where from, but it doesn't look like it's had very much use. The bag was a little bit dirty, you know, from sitting around. But inside it looks like maybe it was used once with the propane. So uh, that's where this came from. And I will be returning it to him when we're done with our test today. But I had to do this because this is one of those videos where not only is it something you might be interested in buying, you know, even though it's kind of expensive, it's 200 bucks, but it's also something that might be handy for you if you come across something like this after a disaster or event or whatever, or if you see it in a thrift store for 60 bucks, you know it's a good deal. So that's kind of why we're doing this video today. From the backyard to outside, even survival and emergency preparedness, this three fuel grill will allow you to cook whatever you want, whenever you want. It has the three fuel capacity, as we've explained. It has the propane, the wood, or the charcoal. And uh, you can do this, it really sets it apart from other grills, because not a lot of other grills can do that. Now, some can do the smaller ones, you know, a little alcohol burner or something like that, but this can do it all on a larger scale. So it really has the greatest variety of cooking options with the ease of portability. Now, it is heavy, I'm not gonna lie. It says a good 10 to 15 pounds total. But um, again, if, you, if you're going to use this for, say, just charcoal or just wood, you don't need some of the accessories in here. So let's get it out of the bag and take a look, and I'll show you how it sets up. All right, so this is the actual volcano stove, and it does collapse down to about five inches. Very, very compact when you collapse it down. When you see it popped open, you'll understand why I say it's compact, because you'll be like, wow, how did that get so big? Now, the cool thing about it is you can switch between propane, charcoal, or wood just in seconds. If you've cooked a bunch of burgers with the propane, and you want to take the propane burner out and turn this into a fire pit, that's simple. Let me explain to you. See some of the accessories off here on the side. This will be the grill that goes on top of everything. We'll get into that in a second. This is your propane burner, and as I can tell, this is the only thing they really used in this. To use this propane burner, first let me pop the stove up. To open this, you're just going to pick it up. There you go. It's done. It's open. <laughs> it's that simple. Now, to use the propane burner, what you're going to do is stick this in here. Literally just toss it in there. You're going to run this to your 20-pound tank. Now, there are, they do sell adapters for the one-pound tanks. If you want to get that, you can get the adapter. And this long tube into there and into your propane burner. And that's it. It just screws right in. Very, very simple to use. Very easy to use. We're not going to be using propane today. Um, when you do do this with the propane burner, they give you a diffuser here. And this diffuser will allow you to spread the heat out far and wide. Instead of just that one little hot spot in the center, you'll be able to diffuse the heat. And it'll kind of just be like cooking on charcoal. But we're not going to be using this today because I want to do charcoal in here. I don't do a lot of charcoal videos. And I wanted to do this with charcoal today with some of the foods. We'll show you what we'll be cooking in a minute. So let me get that out of there. And I'll show you how I'm going to be setting it up. Now, a little bit about this grill. Um, if you're going to be using this as a fire pit, don't expect a ton of heat coming off it. The reason is, this is double walled here. This will be cool to the touch, so you can move this around while you're using it without burning your fingers. This, of course, will be very, very hot. So if you're going to use charcoal in here, let me give you a look down inside, and I'll show you what it looks like inside. You're going to take this smaller grill here, and you're just going to place it in there. Okay? And you can put your... Um, fire starter under there, whatever. We're just going to use match light charcoal. I'm really cheating today. I'm not even going to use a ferro rod. We're going to put the charcoal on here. You don't need a lot of charcoal. A 10 to 15 pieces is more than enough to cook a bunch of meals. This generates a lot of heat and keeps the heat inside of it. So let me show you how the bottom here works. You will notice on the side here there's a closed and open. You want it open when you're doing charcoal because it will allow the air to circulate in through everywhere. So you've got a nice 19,500 BTU burner. You've got efficient use of wood or charcoal in the cook chamber. And you've got a really nice stove, all in all. Um, really nice grill. 
So what we're going to do is set this up. We're going to be cooking some, uh, wouldn't be a survival video unless I was using my freeze-dried wholesalers. Some freeze-dried uncooked boneless pork chops and some freeze-dried hamburger patties. I have both hydrating over here. So we're going to take this outside. I'm doing this video a little early today because I'm trying to beat the wind. We're supposed to get high winds later today. So I want to get it out there and get this started up. So let me get this outside. We'll put the, uh, we'll put the um, charcoal in it and we'll get it fired up. And I'll show you what it looks like once it's ready after that. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes before the charcoal is ready to cook on. And we'll go from there. So let's bring it outside. All right, so I got my gate open on the bottom here. You can't see that. I do have my lighter. This is just match light charcoal. Got 15 bricks in there. We're going to see how well that little tiny bit of charcoal will um, take the fire. I want to make sure I get all the bricks lit because I have them in a pile, but they're not the most perfect pile. There we go. So, there we go. Got it going. I want to let you guys know, too, while we're waiting for this to start up. Um, I know people right now are kind of panicking about getting their hands on food. We have shortages. We have Augustine Farms that just uh, shut down for 90 days to procure supplies. Um, I know for a fact Thrive Life has tons of stock. Um, freeze dried Wholesalers has tons of stock. I actually emailed him the other day. He has stuff ready to go. So, um, as well as my Patriot Supply. Uh, the most you're going to experience is maybe a two or three day shipping delay just because they're busy, but they have the stock in stock. So let's give this about 15 minutes to get set up here and move my camera back a little bit so it doesn't burn my lens. <laughs> and we'll talk to you in a few minutes once this is going. All right, so we've got some nice heat coming off this now. Um, this, as I told you, the sides are absolutely cool. I wouldn't touch here, but down here is nice and cool. And as I expected, you're not getting a ton of residual heat off this so a fire pit to keep you warm probably not um, as good as uh, just a regular stove so the um, pork chops are ready to go they're all hydrated and ready we're gonna put them on and bring you back when those are ready hamburgers have a little more hydration to go and then we'll put those on all right pork chops are doing awesome I did a little experiment here I threw in some wood too to see how it would work as a combination it seems to be working very well and you can add fuel to this very simply. You just reach under here, lift it up, and just throw in whatever you want. Um, let's try the burgers on here now. Drop them on. And we'll come back when those are done. And I'll give you my opinion on this. So far, it seems to be doing really, really well. I'm really enjoying the, uh, the ease of cooking on it. And it's our first kind of cold day out here in the desert. So, uh, like I said before, we're expecting a windstorm later this afternoon. I wanted to get the video shot before that. So, um, I can actually feel a little heat coming off it, but again, it's not super hot. So, definitely cool if you don't want to make a big, uh, hot, messy, uh, fire in the middle of somewhere. All right, give me a few minutes and I'll bring you back. All right, so in the background there, you see the grill kind of cooling off. Um, gave me about, I would say, 45 minutes of, uh, cook time and burn time. It's kind of mellowing out now. You could probably still cook some stuff on it. Wanted to try out the pork chop here, see how nice and tender that came out there you go. there you go that was awesome that came out great let's try the burger try a little piece of that and that came out perfect too i think i overcooked that burger in the back a little bit but that one's perfect so all in all definitely a cool little cook system uh, can make some nice little food for you there it's not overly smoky however when the grease from the hamburgers dripped in a little bit Got a little smoky, but not bad. So what I'm going to do is wait for that to burn out, and I'll show you how we collapse it and pack it up, give you my final thoughts on it, and I will even give you a link if you are interested in picking one of these up, um, where to pick one up. So, see you in a few minutes. All right, did about uh, half an hour or so. Let it cool off. Dumped out whatever was left of ashes. Very efficient burn in there. It was mostly just ash left behind. Um, it's definitely an efficient stove. Works very, very well. I did toss in a couple of pieces of wood to see how it would go. They lit up right away. Um, Got to say, pretty cool thing. I would say this would be good for a bug out location, um, car camping, maybe overlanding, um, you know, if you were bugging out by vehicle, because it's kind of heavy. Like I said, this isn't light. So I'm going to show you how to collapse this and pack it back up. We'll put it in its bag. 
Um, I did wipe it off a little bit and clean it up because I hate giving back things dirtier than when I got them. So uh, give me a minute and we'll tear it apart. All right, so you remember when it was collapsed, how we opened it. We just tugged up on this handle here. Well, to collapse it, you're just going to pick it up. And that's it. The legs will collapse in. And you are all collapsed inside there. Really, really simple to use. Yes, it's heavy, but it's not too heavy to, to do that. I would say this part here is about five pounds total. Um, and it definitely did, uh, did open and close very, very simply. The legs underneath will just collapse underneath there. And uh, move this piece here. And all in all, so far, so good. So let's get the bag in and pack it in that. All right, so your next step, you're going to put the grill at the bottom here, the big grill, the one that goes on top. And for those wondering, yes, it does fit into the rim, so it doesn't slide around. You saw me moving everything around on there. It snaps right into the rim. So we're going to place this at the bottom. Then we're going to place our stove unit in here and pull it up around the edges. It actually went in there perfectly. Now, next up, we're going to be putting the propane burner and the, uh, the, gas, the gas line in there. Here's the burner itself. That will fit right in the middle. And here is the gas line. Those are the other two grills. Here is the gas line. We're just going to kind of put that around in there to get it in there nicely. Now you'll notice also this does come with two tools to tighten everything up, so we're going to put those in there as well. Okay. Now on the top here is a pocket. You're going to get your diffuser and your base grill plate and put it in the pocket here like so. And that's it really. You're packed up and ready to go. Just zip it closed and you are 100% packed up and ready to go. That is if I can zip this without messing it up. <laughs> but that's it really. That's as simple as that. Zip it up and you are set. Don't know why I'm getting caught on that, but I'll fix that after the video. It's just something caught in there. Oh yeah, it's rolled over. Anyway, that is the Volcano Grill 3 Fuel Portable Camp Stove. Gotta say, it did as it's supposed to do. It's not a cheap item, it's not a light item, but definitely something you should consider if you're considering maybe cooking at home, bugging in. Um, again, some people will worry about the smells and attracting other people if you have food and they don't. That's something to think about. But for short-term emergencies, power outages, whatever, this kind of thing can really, really come in handy. Um, it is quality, it is very well made, very heavy duty, and like I said, it's $199, but you know, buy once, cry once. <laughs> so, that is the Volcano Grill. Uh, we will put a link down below where you can check it out. And as I mentioned in the video before, I do have three companies as of now that have food. If you're nervous about other companies shutting down for 90 days, we've got Freeze Right Wholesalers. If you click that link, you save 15%. We have My Patriot Supply, which has some amazing deals on some longer term storage. Uh, there's a four month kit there where you'll save $100. Uh, and that's preparewithiridium.com, preparewithiridium.com. And we also have Thrive Life, and they have their food in stock as well. So if you want to get some freeze-dried food, the time isn't over yet, but it's getting there. It's running out, believe me. Um, I know I spoke to the owner of freeze-dried wholesalers yesterday, and he's very well stocked. That doesn't mean it could not go away in a lifetime. I literally sold him out of filet mignon yesterday when I did that video. So it just goes to show you, people will buy stuff. So make sure you get your orders in. Whoever you're going to order from, make sure you get your orders in. And you got a little taste of the uh, pork and the uh, freeze-dried hamburger patties over there for uh, freeze-dried wholesalers. I say it did pretty well. So I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check our Amazon affiliate store down below. That is where the link to this stove is. And I will see you next time. Stay safe and stay prepared.